What is up? What is good? Fucks all of my wonderful, amazing kings and queens, brothers and sisters. Welcome to or welcome back to another Mommy and the Royals video. Y'all know who it is. Is she her day? Your host is with the mouses, Tyler Renee. And as y'all can tell by that title of the thumbnail, my baby growing up, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so perfect and getting so big. Let's get on into a boss chase and tears. Let's get updates, y'all. Y'all virtual nephew. Y'all virtual little lord of the little baby. is growing so fast. He's getting so big. We'll talk about that later. He is so smart. He is so advanced. This has to be the most, the most well-behaved baby infant newborn I have ever seen or had physically myself. And I have two other kids if you don't know. But yeah, I am a super, super proud mama. But it is a bittersweet uh, with baby biscuit being what most likely will be my last baby. Um, a lot of life things have happened semi-recently. I will of course be getting y'all up on that. I will be doing my quarter one life update and things have changed. So this is most likely to be my last baby. Your girl's almost 30. Ain't no ring on this finger. Don't worry about the nails. So Biscuit might be it. It is really sad that he's growing up so fast. He's only four months and baby moving like he's six. I can't take it. But in the meantime, between time, let's start on the Biscuit's favorite activity, and that is eating. Now, as some of you may not know, I had a nine-pound baby in 19, okay? So, I've had some biscuits. Here, Jade the Prince, six pounds, one ounce, 19 inches long. Adore. Adore was six pounds and 20 inches long. But at four months, baby got most 15 pounds. <laughs> Crazy, right? This day was 30 pounds. That's almost a whole toddler. Like, what did I do today? I am here, literally 114 pounds, 0.6. Plus 50 pound baby. He eats rather well, and I don't want to hear, oh, you have to eat more, you have to gain more weight, can't feed that baby, you're not going to be able to supply the milk that he needs. None of that, <clears throat> because if you don't know, my letdown is very powerful, and again, he is now 15 pounds off of breast milk. So, mamas, don't let him tell you you can't do it. Uh, yeah, almost 15 pounds. He is almost two feet tall. The child don't know how. I'm 5'4". His father claims 5'10", but he's really about 5'6", five, 5'8". Five, so, I don't know where he getting this height and his weight. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, I got a big one. Um, so, yeah, we have been breastfeeding for about four months. We have, you know, introduced a little bit of formula in there for... You know, times when I'm out and about, but nothing too much. We are going to start feeding him with a spoon and food soon. We will first be introducing him to rice cereal, then applesauce, and etc. We're, of course, going to be taking you on that journey with us. You're going to see him try his first food. Whether it is applesauce or it is rice cereal, we have both. Probably will be, you know, taking out along with me. Uh... Yeah. Anywho, back to us. Um, yeah. So we will be trying food in a second. We will still be breastfeeding until I feel it is a proper time for him to stop. I'm not gonna lie, it might go a little longer because this is again most likely my last baby. Um yeah, so moving on to
Now, I know every parent, every mother says this, but my baby is so smart. I'm damn near perfect. I am so proud of him. He is very advanced for his age. And again, I have two children, a boy and a girl. So, you know, I got a taste. But my biscuit baby is sitting up on his own. He was doing so at three months, lifting himself up, sitting. He would not sit up on his own because he's a nose child. So if you see something in front of him, he's going to reach out forward and he's going to go get it. He is moving backwards, not scooting, but like moving his legs, aka crawling backwards, arm style, but still he will hold himself up with one arm and lean to the side and look. He um, has very good head and eye coordination. He will put anything in his mouth. If he wants it, he will grab it, pick it up, put it in his mouth. Um, what else? He has his favorite toys, which are the back scratcher and a lighter. Yeah, he he likes toys, but he don't really like toys. He likes everything that he's not that he's not supposed to play with. I think, I think my baby has like smart baby logic. I don't know. I've never heard seen or heard anybody else like this. But like he know, like okay, I want to get this. I need to sit up. He knows, okay, boobs. I need to move down here, lift this up at four months. You know what I'm saying? Very smart, very advanced, very proud mama. But slow down. No crawling till six months. No teeth till. No walking till at least nine. Give mommy a break. Slow down. said already he is quite a healthy baby he's one of the roly polies three chins three rows my stomach very like not fat but rows everywhere else chins necks my baby was a chonster he's a booby baby um he's currently in six to nine months six mainly um he can wear six to nine months though um Size three diaper, small head. He doesn't really wear hats. Again, almost fifteen pounds, about two feet tall. Big baby, my baby. <laughs> Non-stop teething, everything goes in his mouth except for the, you know, the teething toys. If he gets him, if he gets his hand on a teething toy, the teeth are not going in his mouth. The handle is like I don't know, but he ain't going. He's not a toy baby. He's more like the box the toy came in kind of baby. You know what I'm saying? But he's very chill. He will sit there and watch TV. His very favorite show is NCIS. He does not like FBI. Um, he likes to listen to music. If it's a bad song, he will cry. He enjoys long rides and good music. Uh, he is a mommy's baby. He's a he loves the women. He loves a woman's voice. It makes him smile. Not so much the man. He'll look at you real quick. Make, make sure you like it. And he might chill with you. But you might not get a smile from him. Um, and I already has this, the best smile. Dimples on both sides of his cheeks. Biggest cheeks ever. Shows all of his gums. Just so precious. He's talking, he's making sounds, he's spitting, he's zubbering, he's blowing bubbles. He, uh, if y'all don't know, he did get the flu early on, like at maybe a month, maybe a couple weeks old. And he does still have like, he sounds like a cat, kind of sort of. He makes like little sounds. He doesn't really cry too much. He will cry if he is wet, if he is cold or hot and if he's sleepy other than that he's chill he might fuss he might talk he might scream at you but he's not gonna cry um yes, uh, he laughs at almost anything you smile at him you talk to him you pick him up you smile at him hug him he'll laugh kiss him he'll smile you know what i'm saying it's just like 
the most heartwarming, most wholesome little baby I've ever seen. It. Now, I am a mother with anxiety. I like to have routine and stability. My children have their routine. My family has their routine. My household has its routine. And Biscuit has his routine. Um, he will start fussing about 6, 7. He'll be ready to eat. Then he'll be ready to eat again about 9, 9.30. Then about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, he'll go down for bed until about 3. Um, on a good night, he will wake up at 4, but that 4 o'clock wake up is mandatory. Even if you wake up at 1 or 2, he go wake up at 4, period. And then he likes to wake up at 8 before his siblings go to school. Yeah. We're on a decent sleep schedule as long as, you know, we don't stay out the night before. And then he'll try to stay up the next night. Any little thing that throws off his sleep schedule will throw him off for the next couple of days. You have to get it back. But we're working on it. Please believe me. Yes, I'm a breastfeeding mama. He sleeps here or here. And then I transfer him to his bed. He sleeps alone. Okay? If you all are not aware, birth story coming soon. Um, but if you all are not aware, he was born with a slight hernia. Since he is sitting up and moving around and rolling around at four months, it has completely closed, the doctor said. There's no hole, there's no opening where the muscles are not together. The muscles are completely together and his hernia has been down. We will be going to see the kidney doctor soon this month. Um, again, if you guys did not know what you should, if you watched the, um, pregnancy videos that I posted, it was few and four in between by the post. Um, uh, his kidneys were dilated, at least one kidney was dilated the entire pregnancy, and they cleared him at the hospital when he was born, but we're going to have a follow-up this month with the ENT doctor, and check that out. The boy's allergic to everything. He... He wakes up with gunky eyes, can barely open his eyes, runny nose, spit everywhere. I'm not sure if that is, you know, his teething or if that is just his allergies. If you don't know, again, my older two are literally allergic to dairy. Milk, ice cream, cheese, dairy, allergic. So, if he has allergies, but he can drink milk, or if he can't drink milk, but he has allergies, toss up. But we shall see. His hair is not kinked up yet. The back of his hair is still very straight but curly. The front of his hair, he sweats a lot. He's a sweaty baby. And when he sweats, it's in his, his, like, his hair. So he's very curly, very soft. Not nappy at all. We're waiting on seeing what happens with that. Currently, his hair is brown. But we're going to see what happens with that. His eyes change color from like a Hennessy color to like a marble gray color so we're gonna see what's happening with that but basically baby's just perfect okay and I'm in love he's moving so fast I really just want him to stay a baby as long as he can I did not want to stop or delay his development but it's really breaking my heart bittersweet for the girl um Again, that life update will be coming soon, as well as that birth video. This one was a doozy, but it was actually one of the best labor and deliveries I've had ever. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Mommy and the Royals channel if you have not yet. We are a family channel. I do hold book club conversations, recommendations, tags, readathons over here on the channel as well. Black History Lessons, Black History Month videos, and so forth monthly. Book, book Club Newsletter monthly. Stay tuned for that and so much more. NaNoWriMo is coming up. A lot going on. But until then, folks, peace, love, and positive vibes. Deuces.